<laughs> hey everyone, it's Arvin. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, nobody asked, but in today's video, let's chat about 2023 interior design trends. The more you look at historical pieces of furniture and design, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about what pieces you gravitate to. The very first trend that we are going to be seeing a lot of in 2023 is dark academia. Now, I want you to imagine like a Harry Potter set, but pared back and chic and very stylish and incredibly livable. Now, this genre of interior design style has been categorized thanks to TikTok. This style is so successful thanks to its traditional designs and beautiful moldings on the walls. It's traditional, but with an emphasis on antiques and dark and moody colors. One designer that I think really encapsulates this style and makes it so effortless is Jake Arnold. If you've been seeing some of his work recently, you're probably noticing a lot of dark and deep moody walls, lots of saturated neutrals, and it's really a refreshing color palette to see, especially on social, because we're always seeing, you know, light and bright and airy interiors. Now, I'm not saying that style is, you know, out by any means, but I think we are craving some of this moodiness. It's a style that I think we can easily incorporate in our homes by using paint and darker pieces of furniture and textiles. So in retailers, I think we're gonna see lots of dark browns, deep mochas, even lots of like charcoaly grays and washed blacks. If you are inspired by any of these trends, I'll be posting some shoppable edits down below in the description box. Moving right along to a trend that I'm excited to see in 2023, and that is Kit Kat tiles. Yes, Kit Kat, like the candy bar. Now, if you are looking for a tile option for a renovation this year, I think you should consider Kit Kat tiles. It's modern, it's sleek, it's so, so textural, and it really gets its name from the chocolate bar, Kit Kat. And I think it's a great alternative if you are not into Zalige tile, which is very beautiful by the way, and also if you are kind of tired of subway tiles. Kit Kat tiles look great in just about any application, whether it's a backsplash or it's in a bathroom. And you know what? I think they look incredibly sexy in darker, moody colors. Look at this backsplash, I mean, you just get this like mood and this vibe. I think the Kit Kat tile is a great choice if your style is more modern, Scandinavian, mid-century. I'm really excited to see how people will use Kit Kat tiles this year. I mean, look at this modern kitchen. It's just so, so beautiful the way it curves and mm, let me know what you think about Kit Kat tiles down below in the description box. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Before we get into the next trend, I feel like I haven't shared a candle recommendation with you in a while. And this happens to be one of my favorite scents. It's woodsy, it's earthy, but there's a sweetness to it. It's sandalwood, cedar, and library. It's actually my candle, Found Objects. I collaborated with an Etsy seller, a small business last year, and you guys, it smells so good. It's only available for a limited time. I will link it below in the description box. The next trend that we are going to see a lot of in 2023 is organic Danish modern furniture, specifically, okay, specifically, those scrumptious, curl up and read a book type of furniture. Now, this is not a new shape. This kind of shape originated in Scandinavia between the 1930s all the way to the 1960s. For this style of furniture, we can look at some of the design masters like Fritz Hansen, 
Finn Yule, Viga Bozin, and Marta Blomsted. This kind of furniture looks amazing with mid-century designs, but it also looks so successful next to more traditional and classic interiors like Look at these rooms by Amber Interiors. Amber Lewis, I mean, hello. Hi, how cozy does this look? And how amazing does this space look with this Danish modern designed chairs? Right? It looks so good. And what I am happy to share with you is there is a brand new spring collection with Studio McGee and Target, and there is a chair that looks exactly like a vintage Fritz Hansen chair. I mean, are you kidding me? This looks so amazing. I'm really excited to see this Danish modern style available at a great price point. I also found this chair that looks like my Viga Bozin little Petra chair. You guys have loved this style when I shared it last year, and again, great price point. I will leave some of my favorite styles down below in the description box, just in case you are also loving this Danish modern organic style. This next trend on my list is definitely an extension of Danish organic modern, and that is amoeba-shaped tables. These organic amoeba-shaped coffee tables are not new. They're definitely inspired by designers like Paul Frankel and his beautiful cloud coffee table, but also Jean Royer. It feels very French. It feels very organic. I really like this style. I don't know what it is. I just love organic shapes. And if you do too, you're in luck because you're gonna see lots of these shapes in retailers like Crate and Barrel. Have you seen the Athena Calderon coffee table? It has like this plaster and burl kind of design. I'm also seeing a lot of it in different retailers like Wayfair. Look at this great little organic shape. I mean, so good, right? Lots of great budget-friendly options. I happen to love them in kind of a wood variation. I'm excited to see what else we're gonna see in 2023. I think there's always going to be a time and place for organic furniture pieces. The next trend on my list is actually a textile, and that is performance velvet. I think we might be seeing less of boucle, and we're gonna make way for performance velvet. And I just wanna clarify, in my last trend video, I said I also want to see less of boucle. It doesn't mean I hate it by any means. I think we are just all looking for something that's a little bit different. And velvet is definitely such a great fabric choice, especially performance velvet. It's usually made of polyester, which means it's gonna be you know, it's easily cleanable, but I'm really excited to see more of performance velvets this year. Um, I've also seen like faux mohair velvets. Mohair is a very expensive kind of like woolen velvet, but I'm seeing faux mohair in the form of pillows and sofas, and it lends itself to more of that, you know, performance fabric because it's made of polyester. I think we're going to see velvet in a big way this year and reinterpreted into these vintage styles, which brings us to my last trend prediction for 2023, and that is 1970s chrome furniture. You guys, the 70s are back in a big way, and I'm seeing a lot of this like low-slung furniture from CB2 and other retailers with chrome details. When you see this like high polished chrome furniture, there's kind of this like high fashion vibe to it. And it's not gonna be for everybody. I totally get that. For the last two or three years, we saw a lot of warm 
furniture, warm palettes. So naturally, I think we're going to like go to this like colder, harder material like chrome. And we're going to expand on that and we're going to see some furniture styles from the 1970s. You know, love it or hate it, but I think it's a style that we are going to see in retailers, on social. I think it's so great that these design styles are inspired by vintage and antique furniture because the more you look at historical pieces of furniture and design, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about what pieces you gravitate to. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are feeling inspired, check out those links down below in the description box. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And don't go yet. Watch this video next and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.